Hello my crafty friends. Today I'm sharing a pop-up card made with products from both Karen Berniston and Studio Katya. I started off with a card that's larger than A2. It's a card and envelope set that I picked up at Michael's and folded. The card is five inches by six and a half inches. I stamped on the envelope And I used this lovely teacup image from Studio Katya, which is called A Cup of Thanks. And there are coordinating dies available as well. I noticed that I'm really lacking in the floral department, uh, both in stamps and dies. So I really thought that was lovely and versatile from birthdays to sympathy. I, I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. For the background, I use Studio Katya's Rectangular Dots cover, which is sized for an A2 card, and it cuts the outside edge, and then you get this lovely embossed frame and the pierced stripes going up, and it just makes such a nice background. Here I cut it out of a really pale green mirror card stock by Tonic Studios, but my test cut when I first got the die was on craft card stock and it's just going to make such a nice texture to all kinds of cards uh, for your backgrounds. The Thinking of You comes from Karen Berniston's Word Set 10 Thinking of You and I really like how it cuts as a single piece so it makes that very easy to adhere. And then, you know, because it wasn't quite sparkly enough, I added both crystals and confetti from Studio Katya. I added stickles into where the berries are and then after the stickles dried just wasn't enough oomph so I went over it with glossy accents and then set that panel aside to dry overnight. Inside is the pop-up. I used Karen Berniston's Catherine label which is probably my most used Karen Berniston die because you can animate so many things and it's quick and easy and you don't need to have a card base. It glues inside your card the mechanism the Catherine label comes with a nice label shape, which you can use on other projects, but then you can also use other shapes to animate as well. So here I've got room to write. This sentiment is from the Stamps of Life. And you can see you get lots of height and lots of depth with the Catherine label pop-up. The floral pattern paper is actual paper. It's, it's very lightweight, but it worked fine on my card and I've had it in my stash for a very long time. My stamp from Riley and Company that goes on the back of my cards. And you can see that it is almost flat, completely flat to mail for a single stamp. I used the teacup image to stamp off on both sides as well as the envelope flap. I just thought it would be a pretty card to send out for happy mail. I'm still sending a lot of happy mail out to let people know I'm thinking of them. When we can't hug people, I'm sending them a a hug in the mail. If you enjoyed my card today, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my interactive cards. And that is it for me today.